Hello, this is me, JJ Jane Sad, and I'm playing a TRLE called Catacombs at Dusk. Right, we start off in this area here, we need to slide down into the first room. It's a number of doors that are locked, and we have to open one of them. This whole game is basically a series of rooms, some very annoying enemies. And what they did on this level was that they did a few things where if you don't do them in the right order, you, if you don't pick up there's a crossbow, you have to get. If you don't get that first and you walk into a room, there's some really tough bad guys. So you have to shoot them with these exploding arrows. If you don't get them first, it's quite difficult. It's a bit annoying. And I had a number of trouble with, again, I don't know what it is with some of these levels. Trigger cameras lock the screen so you can't escape the camera, which is pointing at a corner or something. And then there's the other one where Lara won't get out of the water, there's a bit near the end, so I don't know why this is. It's, if it's my computer, I don't know. So, it's like, it's an interesting level, but then it gets really confusing, and I got lost because I did the practice first. I did fine in the first ever one, I didn't look at the guide, I got through it. But then, uh, got very mixed up on the second and third, because I waited a day, came back, and then got very nice. We covered this area, this cross space, got to pull a lever. There's a lot of buttons you got to press on here. It's not the right level, I suppose, but it's a sprite and it chases you about. You have to go to a specific area or it doesn't go away. Normally, these things, they go to that bird thing on a cross or they if you jump in water. But there's no water in the vicinity, so they chase you everywhere. It's really annoying. So you have to go up this ladder. And I found that that gets rid of it. I don't know why. Normally they go into that thing, but they didn't on this one. So Lara. This leads to a room where we've got two doors. One there with a jewel we have to get, and one there that leads to the water. And then four, a couple of moments, four buttons. The colours don't mean anything, and they don't have to be pushed in any particular order. You just push them. Push them. So the colours don't mean anything. So push these and a lot of these buttons. And it's into an area with water. There's a shotgun pick up some oozes and exploding arrows and a crossbow. We have to kind of look for a lot of the buttons on here because they're not obvious to find. If you don't get them it makes it a lot harder. And there is a bit where the skeleton guys turn up with a sword. They chase you around the entire level and it's very difficult so you have to get the exploding arrows or you can't get rid of this little git. There's a shotgun pick up here, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Go down this tunnel here. There's a button or something along here. But most of the pickups you get, like, normally sometimes you get uh, bullets for guns you don't have. That doesn't seem to be the case to level. There's oozes and shotguns. It's not too bad. But the ones that are the most effective are the exploding arrows. They're the most effective. There's some guardian like demons or something like set almost but they're, they are vulnerable you can shoot them but they're quite tough so you need to conserve your ammo a little bit there's plenty of health packs it's not too hard it's just they put enemies in certain places and if you don't have the crossbow you can't get rid of them so come to here and get that sh shotgun it's quite well hidden it's in here i missed this in first practice i don't know in a minute there's a, there's a shotgun but there's no Shotgun, but there's bullets, but there's no shotgun. So, so it's in here. We go up on that other pillar, and it opens another door. It does get very confusing. I don't know, the logic's very strange on this, for some of these levels. It's like a linear, non-linear thing almost. It's like if we do it in the wrong order, you get a little bit stuck. At least with some of the pickups, anyway. Yeah, this is the gem to open out of the door. So it's fairly straightforward at this point, and then we get a little bit deeper in, and then it starts to get very annoying. This kind of went on a little bit longer than I expected it to, but once I knew where everything was, it wasn't too bad. It's not that long a level, but if you get a bit stuck, it does kind of drag. La la la. We need to put it into this thing here. It's not called a horse in the gym, but that's interesting. We do that, open this door. Now, we come to a big room, and there's two archways, and this thing starts up here. We go for that door in a minute, there's a room with two cube things in it. That's where the, uh, pick up for the, uh, 
crossbow is. That doesn't get rid of that thing. I stood there for a good 10 seconds while it, this thing killed me. We need to go up here first. I don't know why. This is not obvious. It's very poor dwelling at this on this level. You have to come up here, and this opens another door. But not not to where we, to where we want to go. The crossbow. The skeleton guard turn up, and he'll hack you. So you've got to get this lever right. Half these pots contain absolutely nothing. I think there's about one flare pick up and possibly some bullets about it in the entire level. I didn't bother going after most of them. I did check them out, but it's hardly worth it. But you know, there's not a lot in them. So go ignore that the other archway on the other side there. Go into here. This is the order that I did it in that produced the best results. So there's a skeleton guy, ignore him. Although he will come after you. Don't know what those cubes are for, no idea. Go up here, this is a staircase. We have to push two buttons. This is the first button. So if you do the other one, you've got to come down. There's a ladder you have to climb up. So this is the easier of the two. There's a health pack up here. Get this button. This is one of those square things. Again, one of those situations. It looks like there's a lot going on. There's nothing going on in this room whatsoever. Just a stupid skeleton thing. Now climb up this ladder. I thought there was a trapdoor at the top, but actually there isn't. There's no trapdoor. It just looks like it because the top is nothing there. Get on this platform here, and if you didn't get rid of the sprite, it'd be, it'd be completely going at your health and everything, so... You have to go up that other ladder to pull that lever, I don't know why. Get this second button, this is the order you do it, and otherwise you have to go back the other way, because that ladder's annoying. Pick up the bullets there. This goes into a little room, with a staircase. Pick up the pharaoh's pillar, but don't go straight out because on either side there's oozy pickups on this side. We'll get the gun in a minute. Okay, it's fairly all hidden actually that one. And on this side is the crossbow and explosive bullets, uh, arrows. But don't go shooting everything. You have to get this guy, this skeleton guy, I'll just arm that actually. He, this guy in this room with the cubes are, he follows you everywhere so you've got to kill him. This is what makes the level much, much easier, actually. So shoot the git. But don't go shooting everything. There's no point shooting those mummies, because they they're so slow, it doesn't matter. So come out of here, and then we need to go back to where the cross or that bird thing was. And at the end of this is a room, a corridor. Now this is a block pushing, one of those massive things. Come into here, we have to put it onto a block in that corner there. That's where there it is there. That opens a door here. We have to get one of those effigy things. It's like a brush with a handle thing to open the door. That's what this is about, this section. So we climb up here. This is where the oozes are. And I was very confused at this point. I was going, hang on a minute. If you do it wrong, you get this kind of bloke following you. The sprite won't leave you alone. So that's... Ugh. Very, very poor. I didn't like the logic of what they were trying to do on this level. I'm going to put it on there. So, now frustrating, very frustrating this level. As much as it's interesting and it's a nice, they did some nice stuff with the graphics and everything. And it is quite challenging to be fair. And I did, strangely, the, the first time I played it, didn't look at the guy, I got through it. In about 45 minutes, I thought, oh, I'm not going to get through this. But when I replayed it, and I wasn't sure, I did, couldn't remember exactly what I did, it got very annoying. Didn't want to leave the guy too much in there, but it's just a very annoying level. As long as you get the weapons in the right order, it's not too bad. I've got to pull this thing. This is fun. Lara, put your back into it. No, oh, Lara, not Lara. Not quite good action this level. So I put it on that thing. Open the door. Now this opens the door into a room, and there's this like set. Character looks like the set from Tomb Raider. They are killable, but you need it takes ages with the with the um, shot with the pistols. So you need the shotgun's okay, but it's, there's no point shooting the mummies or that skeleton going with the shotgun. All that it does doesn't seem to kill them; it just knocks them about. So the only way to get rid of them is the uh, burning arrows. But I would only bother shooting the skeleton. I wouldn't bother with the mummies. Right, that opens the door. 
This is one of those few years, but these guys have over those. I'll pick up some oozes there. They often seem to run out quite quick, actually. Lara Lara. She was growing up since the last one I played. The last one I played was when she was a teenager. So she can jump and shoot. Right, so we're going here. Don't bother running out because the thing will fall you and you can't get out of the room and it blocks the door. It's stupid. Shoot it. Lara shoots loads of them really quickly. There's practically nothing in these pots. I think there was flares in one of them. It's hardly worth bothering with. So go up to here. Lara Lara, what are we doing? Oh, there's a thing over here. We can jump on the back. Oh, damn it. I need to do a running jump. <sighs> this is very annoying. If you fall off these things, you fall off. And if you grab the monkey bar thing, monkey swing, but you go to the edge, it's way too rider 3, you fall off. And I'm sure that's not what happened in 2 rider 4. But in this one, if you kind of wander off the edge of the monkey swing ceiling ladder, she falls off. I don't know why. It's not 2 rider 3. It's very annoying. Very pretty room. There's that thing in the corner. We need, we need to get that one. I'm going to get this uh, health back. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my computer. I keep getting this beeping noise on here. Like, when in the newer Tomb Raider, Tier Lara, if she gets cold, you get that beeping noise and it gets quicker. It's almost like that. I don't know if it's, my, I don't know if it's the game or it's my, my sticky keys. I keep turning them off. I keep doing that. I'm not sure if it's that or the game. I don't know. This is a carry on. If you fall off, you've got to go back to, back to the beginning. So we're after that handle thing, which is that um, effigy, you look like a brush. Door guardian. Do a standing jump and grab Lara. Lara. Jump and grab. Pull up and get this thing, so that's what we came into here for. Right, I'm going to stop here and I'll be back in part two.